Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 2019. Salvatore Bolomo passes away. His career spanned over 40 years, including everywhere, Stampede Wrestling, NWA, the WWF in the 80s, and ECW in the 90s. Number 4. 1953, Mars Bennett defeats Betty Hawkins in Tampa, Florida to win the NWA Florida women's title. Number 3, 1972, the WWWF world champion Pedro Morales defeats Freddie Blassie in a steel cage match at the Civic Center in Baltimore, Maryland by escaping over the top of the cage. The match had been promoted with the concept that Blassie had invented the cage match and was unbeatable in it. Number 2, 1998. Rick and Scott Steiner defeat the Outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, to win the WCW World Tag Team titles. Number 1, 1982. The Midnight Rider, aka the suspended Dusty Rhodes under a mask, defeats Ric Flair for the NWA World Heavyweight title in Tampa, Florida. However, after the match, NWA President Bob Geigel demanded that the Midnight Rider unmask. If Rhodes revealed it was him under the mask, he would be banned for life, so he refused and instead gave up the NWA championship, which was returned to Ric Flair. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below on which event you feel was the most important for this day in pro wrestling history. Till next time, I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.